still Bangalore. I, I was at a very, I was at a crypto event where everybody was like partying, building at the same time. But here, the community build is such so so strong. Uh, I I met like a 19 year old yesterday in the bathroom where she started talking to me about how she's a technical writer in crypto, and I was like, wow, like you know, I I think that's the beauty of the Indian Web3 space, the adaptation of crypto is so, so high. There is a passion, uh, you know, the, a lot of people who are active Bangalore, most of the talks that I've attended to, nobody is really talking about crypto first. They are talking about how crypto is going to bring the next digitalization in India. And I think that really speaks volume that everybody over here that I meet is working on the next project, the next ecosystem, like the building the next L1, that's just going to take India to, I don't know, India would be next to US or UK. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's very exciting to see how the community is coming together. And a lot of them are open source, freelancers, working for grants. Uh, they, they are taking the first project that comes their way, right? They, they want to learn more. They, you know, when they speak to me, they're like, oh, we know so much about helium, but can you tell me this, right? So you can, you can tell by the passion how much they are really interested to build a better India. And I think, uh, I, I may be biased, uh, but I, I think out of all the crypto events I went to, Phil Bangalore's, is very warm to me. Uh, so yeah. Sure. So so to clear up a little bit of air, uh, I am a Helium Foundation employee, and we. So my role is not head of marketing, but my role is leading communications, right? So so a lot of Web three or crypto projects. When you talk to marketing for them, their biggest goal is to tell people, educate people more about what they are building. They are not trying to sell you a product, but they are trying to sell you a technology. They are trying to sell you an innovation for you to believe in that product. You know, there is so much noise. Uh, working in crypto, recently landing in Bangalore, from, from my Uber driver to my taxi driver to my hotel reception guy, they all keep asking me, what do you do in crypto? And you know, there is, apart from crypto being a world's largest casino and gambling, there is so much more to it, right? There is a real world utility that all of us in branding, in communications, in marketing, is just trying to educate people. So in my opinion, like marketing in Web3 is yes, consumer focused, but do you understand the technology? Do you understand the power of what decentralization is bringing? Can you communicate? Can you communicate with your consumers that it is a consumer first? You are the people who are deploying these in Helium's case, right? You are the people who are deploying these hotspots, but you are also the person who, are, who is using this network. So the benefit is yours, right? Why should large telecom companies take all your rewards, right? It is not one way anymore. It's not Nika selling me a pink top. I receive it at home and that's about it. No, it's about, sure, I imagine giving you a Helium use case again, right? So Helium recently launched, last year launched a mobile network. So Helium is a network of networks. It has a IoT network and then it has a Helium mobile network. And just a few months ago, Helium's mobile network launched the first carrier uh, which is the talk of the town. Uh, they are providing like a $5. $5 is really cheap, unlimited everything. There is no additional cost in Miami with plan to, you know, come up more in most cities in the United States. The value there that needs to be communicated with the consumers is, hey, you and I, we are paying for our mobile plans anyway. We, we have this phone, we use internet data and if you use the Helium mobile network, using your mobile plan also, you are getting some incentives. And then you can use these incentives to pay for your mobile plans. So it's a loop. 
of you are putting in the work and you are getting rewarded for the work. And I think a lot of people just don't know about it. Uh, so that's where the marketing team, I would, I would call it communications. Uh, so yeah, this would be my advice to uh, people who are trying to do brand building, people who are thinking of designing the UX or the website. I feel like, how can you really educate this Web2 audience and bring them over and tell them about what's there for them? It is, in Helium's case, a lot of my communications that I do with the community that this is people powered. This is you and me. I didn't know much about crypto at first, but I, I found out. And how did I found out? It is from this community. People are telling me about it. So I think education is the key. Uh, and how you talk to your audience is the key. Just telling them what's in there for you is the key. It's not just selling the product, right? If if the technology makes sense to them, they are going to come pay. Right? It, it's, it's for the public good. I would call it like that. 2023 for me has been amazing. I come from a DeFi protocol. I come from reinsurance, which was built on Avalanche. So I've seen how the lending uh, money and stable coins work and it got boring to me after a certain point and then I discovered Helium. I spoke to the community and I'm learning about radios and I'm learning about antennas and I'm, I'm constantly thinking, yes, internet is a problem. I earlier spoke about how I had a tough time in just acquiring an eSIM in India because Jio did not have internet connection while I was at Jio. Like, that is a real challenge, right? There are so many infrastructure challenges that exist. Uh, since we are in India, I'm going to just like bring up some use cases uh, which are relevant to India. Like on Helium, as communications, I open my Twitter and I see some use cases like somebody in Lisbon has deployed 50 sensors that uses the helium network and they are detecting sluts. Can this be used in Kerala? Of course, right? Uh, can air quality sensors be used in Delhi? Bangalore's traffic, like I live 1.4 kilometers away and it took me 20 minutes to get here, right? So can these IoT networks, can this mobile networks really be deployed in places where there are centralized infrastructure problems? The answer is yes. And I think Helium's focus 2023 has really been about educating the community more, telling them, like, we, if you, if you look at our Explorer, right, we have great coverage in the United States, even better coverage in Europe, parts of Asia. Uh, but there are still so many black holes in our coverage of the network. Uh, so that is the next, right? How do we tell the community the benefit. Uh, so going in 2024, Helium plans, uh, Helium already launched a membership program uh, a few months ago, 2024, uh, we have a lot more members joining the foundation. So Helium Foundation uh, is the stewards of the network. They look at the IoT and mobile network together. And then there is Nova Labs, uh, which licensed the name Helium from Helium Foundations. Uh, so they are the ones building the Helium mobile network. Uh, so, so think about Helium, like Nova Labs, as the product app side of the Helium network and Helium Foundation as more like the network is growing in the right direction. The community is participating. There are proposals that voting, everybody comes together. So we are more of the stewards of the network. And in 2024, we want to work very closely with members who are you know, using the network, who are building these amazing applications, saving lives in so many cities. Uh, there, the, yeah, there's just so many use cases. I can keep going on and on about it. Uh, but 2024 plan is educating the community more, uh, telling them what it means when there is access for all things people and in devices. I, from my personal opinion, I met so many people in other conferences, like giving Breakpoint as an example. So Solana's Breakpoint happened just a few months ago. There were a lot of builders, a lot of communities that were present at that event. And then I come to Phil Bangor and I'm speaking to 
you know, like 20 year olds, 21 year old. They are telling me about how they go to this university in Nagpur and give a presentation in front of thousand students and telling them about Web3 space, right? So I think the idea is there that we want to educate these communities and bring them on board. But there is lack of resources that needs to be met. Uh, that is one big thing that I see uh, is happening right now in community building in India. Like there is a passion, right? But there, you, you sit in a few presentations and then that's about it. That's, that's not like, th there's a hype which is very short-lived and not a lot of projects are going forward. And I think in order to change that is there are some more resources provided to these communities. There are grants happening and uh, the, the more support you give these communities, the better they are going to evolve and they are going to start participating in the project much more. Uh, I think what Helium, like Helium's community right now on Discord is 180,000 people. Uh, if you talk about any any of the ecosystem DAOs or participation, Helium has the highest participation on the modular governance. Mode. So I think the core community here really believes in the real world utility of providing internet, right? Like in, we are in the era of Starlink and satellites and we still have internet issues. Like I, I think like once the community starts to realize it, they are thinking of that first. They start like participating more and building more use cases. Um, yeah, I, I would just say that's my take on it. Yeah, I agree with you, but I understand you know, I told people. Um, I'd love to know, so since you've been here in FIL, and I'm sure 